Hello, I'm Dr. Norbert Gleich. I'm the medical director and chief scientist at the Center for Human Reproduction. Today's topic is an immunological one. I want to talk to you a little bit about so-called NK or natural killer cells. And the reason I want to talk to you about the subject is because it has kind of become a little bit overblown, or maybe I should say quite a lot overblown in its importance, uh, in our field. And let me explain to you why we think that to be the case. Immunology, as we have been presenting uh, in our video library and in our newsletter and in many publications from scientists here at the center. Immunology is very important for reproductive success. The reason for that is that the little embryo that is trying to implant is really like a little organ transplant from the partner, from the male partner. And if a woman were to receive such an organ transplant from her partner, uh, she would automatically reject a mini kidney transplant, for example. Yet, a woman who has a normally functioning immune system will not reject that little embryo that is trying to implant. And though we still do not completely understand why that is, it in recent years has become quite clear that the principal reason why that little embryo in most cases succeeds in implanting and in growing without being attacked by the maternal immune system as she would if she got from her partner a kidney transplant or a liver transplant. The reason is that apparently the embryo communicates once it enters the endometrial cavity with the maternal immune system and says two things. It first of all says, hey, hi, I'm here. And secondly, it says, please let me in. And in response, the maternal immune system, if it is a normally functioning immune system, kind of feels that embryo out to determine whether it's a good, a healthy embryo. And if it is, the immune system lets that embryo in, allows that embryo to implant by reprogramming itself from rejection to tolerance. In other words, a specific what is called tolerance pathway is induced by the mother's immune system that allows that one embryo to pass the controls that otherwise reject invaders and allows it to implant. Now, that reprogramming of the maternal immune system does not work well in women whose immune system is already running on a little hyperactive, meaning in women who have autoimmune problems, in women who are hyperallergenic, who are kind of allergic to everything that's around them, in women who have evidence of inflammation. In all of these conditions, the immune system works already a little bit over time. And immune systems that are hyperactive don't reprogram themselves very well. And so if that embryo is not trying to implant, that immune system still sees it as foreign and still attacks it and often rejects it. And as a consequence, in those women, uh, we find more frequently what is called implantation failure, early pregnancy losses, so-called chemical pregnancies, and even miscarriages at later stages. Now, why is all of this important, since I just want to talk to you about NK cells? Well, the answer is that many of our colleagues, uh, in our opinion, put too much emphasis on NK cells, or for that matter, even on antiphospholipid antibodies, or other supposedly 
reliable markers of immune problems. And let me explain what I mean by that. If a woman has increased NK cells, that is a sign of a hyperactive immune system. If a woman, if a woman has abnormal autoimmune findings on testing, that too is a sign of a hyperactive immune system. If a woman has elevated inflammatory markers, that, as I already said before, is also a sign of a hyperactive immune system. The difference between how we view these findings and how many of our colleagues view these findings is that we do not believe that NK cells make pregnancies being miscarried or that antiphospholipid antibodies are the cause for miscarriages. What we believe is that they are all just markers of a hyperactive immune system. And women who have a hyperactive immune system then have difficulty with implantation and with pregnancy maintenance. So we are not looking for one sign like NK cells or another sign like antiphospholipid antibodies. We are looking for a panel of tests which all indicate that the woman has a hyperactive immune system. And if she does, we assume that she will attack that embryo that is trying to implant and that we need to calm down her immune system. And therefore, we do not put special emphasis on NK cells versus some other findings. We are looking on a much broader scale for evidence of hyperactive immune systems and intervene in that regard. Thank you.